Can you see the screen in your textbook? You can see the screen, eh? Okay, good. Uh, <laughs> in the last class, which is last, last Thursday, isn't it? Hmm. We have a very good class last Thursday. We discussed about word analysis. Uh, but in this, if you remember that uh, we have to find uh, at that, that particular class, we have to find uh, hold on, uh, TE. So, what is TE? Anybody? We have come to that stage. What is TE? Capital T E. What is capital T E? Expected time of what? No. Expected time of what to complete? The capital T expected time of what? We have small TE. This is expected time of completion of the project. Huh? Small TE. Huh? Small TE is equal to what? A. This is of the activity, yeah? Plus. What plus what? B plus 4M. The whole thing divided by 6. Because we have 6 items there. It's the optimistic, pessimistic, and most likely time. All divided by 6. Huh? Okay? So, this is the expected time of the activity. But TE is the expected time of the completion time of the project. Yeah, you are right, Imran, of the project. So how do you want to find TE, the big T, just to re refresh your memory? How do you want to find TE? How do you want to analyze? How do you want to calculate this one? Oh, from my cut for forward pass. Wait a minute. How come I'll, I lost the this one? I lost the book just now. You have to do the analysis, CPI analysis. Huh? Huh? Yeah, using using the expected time of the activities, the one in bracket. We have yeah, the one in bracket. We calculate A plus B plus 4M divided by 6. We get this one. Huh? You use the time in bracket there. Yeah? You pass forward and backward. Huh? Pass forward forward and backward okay then you get your te uh, in this particular case uh, te is equal to it's uh, to what the book give it to you it's good to 81.3 yeah it's given 81 81.3 days. 
the expected completion time uh, of the project now is 81.3 days after taking consideration all possibilities of pessimistic optimistic and most likely time of each and every activities of the project everybody follow me hmm? everybody follow me okay any questions so far so i move on Aziz, jangan lupa ambil attendance Aziz, eh? Is Haziq around? Ada kan? Nampak tadi? Okay. We have a, uh, right now 49 student including me. Okay, thank you Haziq. So, everybody follow, eh? Okay. Now we have the expected time of the... I reminded you of the statistic last time, didn't it? There are two types of... Uh, Diagram, one is one tail and the other one is two tail. I think it's easier for everybody to understand if I use two tail. Eh? Your book use one tail, but I prefer two tail. It's easier for you to understand, less complication. Eh? So, this is your TE now. Siko to 81.3 days. Huh? Okay. Ah, sing ini baru masuk ya. Sing here. Okay. 81.3 days. Okay. Okay. Now. Uh, if people ask you, uh, what is the po possibility of the project now if to be completed within 70 days? Within 70 days, 70. 70 means what? Less is faster than the expected time, isn't it? 70, because expected time is 81. Okay. So, what is the possibility? Is it above or less than 50%, you think? Will be here, isn't it? Less. Okay. Let's see here is 70s. What is the possibility here? So, if you remember here, huh, this will be the area which is less than 50% of the curve. Am I right? Can I record? I say record nanti you jual pula. Ah, uh, tak pandai nak record lah. Okay, hold on lah. Uh. Where to record? I have to go to the right, isn't it? Uh, I, I forget about to record, to record. Okay, here. More option. Record limiting, okay. That's it. Okay, I try. I try to record it. Siapa dia yang tak boleh masuk tu? Rahimah. Huh? Who are the ones who cannot join in? Iza. Dia duduk kat mana? Takut dia temerang ni dah. Dia tak, dia tak gosok gigi lagi tu. 
Ah, sekarang buluh. Ha. Ah. <laughs> tak gosok gigi lagi tu. Tak mandi lagi, tengah tidur lagi tu sambung tidur tu. Okay, try uh, to record it. Uh. Uh, but I don't promise. Eh? I just record it. Okay. So, you have this case. Uh, 70 days, it should be less than 50%. Uh. So, what do you need to find now? If you remember in your last statistic, you have to find what? Z, isn't it? Uh, yeah, Z. Yeah. Uh. Uh, pandai pun nak ke mana, Zek, uh, okay. Uh. So, it is negative, when it is negative, you must remember, it must be 70 minus 81 or 81 minus 70. It's the way for us not to confuse, so you must understand the things. Uh. This less than means negative. Uh. Negative means 70 minus 81. Uh. Ada mamat baru masuk ni. Uh, uh, 70 minus 81. So, kita find Z. It's equal to 70 minus 81.3. Divide by what? Divide by what? Standard deviation of PE. Uh, okay. Zek, standard deviation. So what is standard deviation now? Standard deviation is square root of variance. Remember, see your statistic. Remember now? So, variant of what now? Variant of what? Of course, this variant is variant of of PE. Huh? Variant of PE. Uh. So, variant in this particular case is uh, because we have a bit different than the statistic is equal to the different here B minus A divided by 6 square. Why 6? N is equal to 6. I lost it. I cannot, I cannot write this one. Eh? I have a problem here. Square. Okay, square. Okay. That's good. Okay. Okay, square. We're looking at it. To remember, in your statistic, variance is equal to x minus x bar divided by n square. Remember now, x minus the mean divided by n. Six in the n. Huh? Uh, okay, so it's the same. Eh? It's the same. So variance. No, the variance of TE, you have to go back, means what? You have to find the variance of each activity now. Huh? Yeah. You have to find the variance of each activity now. Huh? Huh? 
Where is the book? Uh? Oh, it's under E. Eh? You have to find the variance of its activity, please. You have to find the variance of 1 to 2, which is what? 9 minus 2 divided by 6 square plus this is the variance of each activities. Huh? To find huh? all the variance. Everybody follow? Variance of this, acti this activity, variance of the activity, huh? all this activity that is on the TE. Huh? It's on the critical path. Okay? Everybody follow? Okay. So, then, what you get from the book, the TE is equal to 81 point, it is equal to 4.07. Huh? You see that? It's all, this one is all along the critical path. Huh? You square root it and you get 4.07. That is the standard deviation. Huh? Everybody got it? So I give the example in the book so that you can easily follow. Huh? Everybody follow? Any questions so far? We have 50 students with us now. Huh? Not bad. Huh? It's more than 80% attendance. Yeah. No question? Okay, so far we follow. Very good. Huh? So you have you have to replace now uh, standard deviation, which what's also the number just now? Four point. 4.07 You have to replace this fish 4.07 Okay Somebody please huh? Use your calculator And give me the number What is the number now? Negative 2.78. Is that right? Putri bagi ya. So negative 2.76. Okay. 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 Then you have to find out the Z. Of course, uh, the book gives you the table now. Uh, Table is on page 169. It's on page 169. So negative 2.8 is around here. It's around here. So Miss what? What did you need to do? What do you need to do now? <laughs> the two point eight is around here. What do you need to do now? <laughs> what do you need to do now? You have your book with you, isn't it? So now it's negative two point eight. Are you rounding off? Negative two point eight is around here. So. Negative 3 is 0. Negative 2.8 is? You have to interpolate. Uh, remember, uh, interpolation need to be done. Yeah, yeah, right. Uh, you have to interpolate. So, it's halfway. Eh? Halfway between 0 0.01 to 0 0.00. I don't want to calculate now. You know how to calculate. Uh, it's about 0 0.005. Halfway, isn't it? About 0 0.005. So, what does it mean? What does it mean, 0 0.05? Huh? <laughs> Bodoh lah.
times 100%. Uh, so, it's about 0.5% chance of completion in 70 days. Hmm. Almost nil. Huh? You, if somebody asks you this question, it means uh, we cannot do it. It's almost nil. Huh? Okay? You try to put the number here, let's say, uh, nine, uh, 100 days. Huh? You put extreme number now. You try to put here 100 days. So what is that? Calculate for me, what is that? Putri, what is that? You tidur putri ni, ha? 4.6. Betul ke 4.6? So, kalau 4.6, what does it mean? Damn sure you can complete the 100 days. Ha, it's extreme. Damn sure you can complete in 100 days because uh, it is more than 3. Uh, understand? Damn sure, we can guarantee you in 100 days completed. Huh? Let us put uh, more, resid more, resid more reasonable number now. Let's say we put 85. Uh, 85. What's the number? 85. F is 0 0.9. So, 0 0.9 from the table is how much? 3 plus 3 is 4. Huh? 3 plus 3 is 4. 3 can be completed. Huh? We have a confidence level of 82%. The chance of completion is 82%. Okay, good. Huh? You can put in another way around also. Which your confidence level at 90%, 90% confidence level, how many days you think the project can be completed? How many days can be completed? Hmm? Which 90%? What should you do? What should you do? What should you do? Go to the table. Ninety percent is what? What is that for ninety percent? Z is equal to for ninety percent. Z is equal to one point three. All right, now huh? one point three. So now. You have to find 1.3 is equal to x minus 81.3 divided by 4.07. Huh? So you have to find now x the number of days that you can complete it. You can complete the project with a uh, 90% confidence level is equal to how many days? Eighty-seven days. Uh, Eighty-seven days. Uh. Okay. So that is per analysis. Huh? Hmm. Okay, eighty-six point six or eighty-six point seven. So consider eighty-seven days. Huh? You run it off. The most important thing you understand the concept. Huh? 
So this is the purpose of PERT analysis. Eh? Because people will ask us, eh? when is it going to be completed? When is it going to be completed? Eh? So eh? this kind of thing is important actually for normally project where time is very important. We're talking about project like the oil and gas industry. Eh? They are working eh, in the ocean, in the middle of the ocean. Eh? Critical, very critical activities. Eh? Kalau if project uh, to construct a banglo, people don't bother. Lambat pun tak apa. Because eh? uh, only, that's not involve uh, a lot of risk factor. Eh? Talk about the oil and gas, you have to cater for the weather risk. Eh? Uh, when the monsoon is coming, eh? All sort of things, eh? uh, so they have to have a perfect timing. The planning has to be very, very refined. Eh? Uh, perfect timings. Uh, but at least we know uh, this kind of things exposure to you. Mm. Any question? I finished this particular chapter eight actually eh? for project scheduling. Mm. Everybody can follow. I will delete this one. I will delete this one. Of, uh, I close this one. My eh? Cutie. Uh, siapa ni? Myra Cutie ni baru masuk ni. Huh? Cutie ni apa ni? Myra ni. Siapa dia ni? C-U-T-Y huh? dia kata. Siapa dia? Dia cute lah. Cutie tu. Huh? Siapa Fazli punya girlfriend kan? Okay. Okay. Now we move to a second stage uh, of the project. Hmm. What you have discussed before hmm, in terms of this uh, particular planning, uh, if you realize, uh, uh, we give the uh, progress in terms of ringgit RM. Let uh, check last time. We are talking about Hmm. This S curve over here is RM, isn't it? It's S curve. This is the time. Okay. Okay. But this achievement when you say 90% completed 80% completed eh, sometime in term of rm when you compare it with the time taken eh, to achieve that amount of money is not that accurate for certain type of project eh? I give you an example. For example, we are doing the road work only. Eh? Huh? Road work, whereby we do the survey, we do the long kang, the drain, eh? and then finally for the road, eh? uh, we do the crusheran, we put in the sand, eh? compacting everything. Finally, uh, finally, it is the pavement. Huh? To do the pavement, it does not need long time. So in your CPM, the pavement maybe is only uh, 
uh, maybe for one kilometer is only three, four days or one week. Huh? Whereas the other activity take months and months. Huh? But three, three, four days actually, huh? three, four days actually, uh, it takes uh, a lot of money because the money is there. Play makes it expensive. Okay. Let's say the project is, for example, let's say put one million. Eh? Okay. One million the whole project. Huh? Uh, then the last activity is 100,000. You follow me now? The last, this one can be done in seven, in seven days. Huh? So, one million, the whole project will take, for example, uh, six months. Huh? Okay. So, seven days before the activity is done, uh, the project is only 90%. Are you with me? Are you following me? Because we have not done this activity yet. Seven days before the completion date, the project uh, progress is 90%. Are you with me? Everybody. Because we are left only with uh, this particular activity. Okay? So, if people ask you, what is the progress at that particular time? Seven days to hand over. Huh? You say 90%. Huh? People will get panic. Huh? Because only have seven days, you are 90% completion. Huh? You take six, almost six months to complete the 90%. You have another 10%. Can you complete? Huh? So it does not reflect huh, the actual work at site. Okay? Same thing for the building. Eh? Huh? You have the, the electric, for electrical activities, electric work, for example. Eh? They do the wiring, they do everything. Eh? Last minute only, they install the fitting, which take a few days only. And the ELCB, that's the most expensive item. A con, eh? Last minute only they install. So before they install, financial achievement is only 20%. Because it's only wiring, cabling, trunking. Huh? So the balance 80% can be done last minute. Huh? So, what's that? Are you with me? Any questions so far? So what do you have? Huh? Any questions so far? So what we have done before, all these things, in uh, the industry, in the market, we call it as financial progress. Huh? What we have done before is called financial progress. What need to be done huh, for to cater for this one? We have to find physical progress. This is what the Malaysian industry is using. Your book use the term work progress. Work progress. This is, uh, I think, on chapter chapter nine. Beginning of chapter nine. Eh? Let me see. In your book, chapter nine. Tracking. Eh? Yeah, chapter 9. Work progress. Hmm? Okay. How do you want to 
uh, prepare the S curve of work progress now. Uh, with this, what we are going to discuss today. Huh? Well, new. I don't see. Yeah. Okay. I don't want to follow the books. Uh, if you follow the book, it's complicated. <laughs> it's complicated. Uh, actually, just just you just listen to me and follow my lecture. It's much simpler. Is what we are doing actually. Yeah? Uh, it's much simpler. Uh, we refer to our bar chart last time. Is this, how do we prepare the S curve? It's the same. If you remember bar chart, give this bar chart. Uh, we have a lot of activity here. Sorry for the drawing. Eh? Huh? Of course. We have decided how to carry out this activity. Eh? Stay steady, system one. Huh? Let, let's say we have this activity. Eh? A, B, C, D, E, F. Eh? We have decided this how we are going to carry out the activity. Hmm? What we need to do now is to give the weightage, eh? the, to assign the weightage of each activity. Eh? Each activity. To assign the weightage of each activity. Eh? So, the summation of the time taken or the work effort for all activities of course will be 100 percent the summation will be 100 percent am i right once you complete it will be 100 percent huh? let's say in this case we have activity i better write here a b c d e F. Huh? So, this summation all will be 100%. Huh? Let's say activity A uh, is piling. Huh? You give the weightage for activity A. For example, here is ten. Here is 20. Here is uh, 0, 5. Here is 15. How many? 20, 20, 50. Here is 40. How, how, how much left? Uh, 30, 50, 90, 10. Okay? So, means what? You have decided that if you have completed activity A, it is considered the project is 10% completed. You have assigned that. You have completed activity A and B, the progress is 30%. You have done all except just now for the, for the, you know, example, uh, for the tarmac, for the, uh, for the tarmac here, means what? We have done 90%. Okay? Understand? Huh? You have assigned that from the very beginning. Huh? Okay? Any question? Because if you read the book, you, it will get complicated. Eh? We can read later on once you understand. Any questions so far? So good? So now to get the S curve, you just do the same that you have done before. You have done before. Uh, means what? I have done before. So for each particular time, you get what are the activities that you carry out here. What did you carry out here? Huh? It, sorry. Then you have here total huh? uh, sum here. And then you have the summation here. Huh? Uh, 
then you will get this graph, of course. Eh? This graph. When you do this one, of course, eh? this one will give 100%. Uh, okay? Uh, they, they will get that. Eh? This one will be 100%. Eh? TE. Uh, T, uh, this one will be 100%. So, this is called physical progress S curve that we have learned before. Is so easy, isn't it? To understand, huh? if you check the books, huh, it's a bit different. Huh? The answer should be the same. Huh? Chapter nine is page two hundred and one. So many explanations. Eh? Uh, this is the one. Eh? You see? Uh, you see? Total 1.0 means 100%. 0 0.05. This is weightage multiplier. Eh? So project timing is from day 0 to day 10. So it's complicated. Eh? It's complicated. 100% eh? means here, 100% is the project timing. Eh? Because they use percent here, they use percent here. It's complicated. So you see, the, the graph actually, they join this one, okay? this one, eh? and then this one plus this one, you get this one, this one, eh? and then you get this graph. Eh? It's a bit complicated. Eh? But you have, you have computer, you just put in the number the same as uh, you have done before, you get this curve actually, no problems. Eh? No problems. Eh? Okay. So now, not only we monitor in terms of tracking later on, whether it monitor in terms of achievement, in terms of uh, financial progress, we also uh, monitor the work of physical progress. Uh, work of physical progress. When you combine the two, financial and physical, we call it integrated integrated eh? cause eh? schedule and work integrated it integrate everything eh? you see uh, we assume this is the cost 100,000 for this particular project eh? then is it the project will take how many months the project will take 10 months in this particular example it means January here, February, say first of January, this one is 31st of January, uh, 28th of February, uh, we follow this week, uh, the month, uh, until the end of October. Uh, you just write down in your book that way, uh, senang. Uh, uh, instead of percentage, you put the date here, uh, the date here, because you use date in your software, in any reporting, not percent here, yeah. Uh, uh, the time is not percent. Eh? The time is in terms of date, week here. Eh? It's automatic come in weeks. Eh? Are you with me, everybody? Eh? So you, you write down in your book here, it's the date here. Let's say you put here 1st of January, 1st of February, 1st of March, 1st of April. Eh? Over here is well, 1st of October. Of course, completed in October. Eh? Everybody follow me? That is what is being practiced outside there. Okay. Let's say the project is 100,000. So this is the financial progress S curve. The plan. Uh, the full line is the financial progress S curve. Uh, over here is the physical progress. Uh, uh, you use a different scaling here. It's physical progress uh, once completed is 100 percent once completed is 80 thousand yeah, over here is 80 thousand am i going too fast any questions so far
Okey Akmal ke Akmal tidur? Dia... Okey. Ha. Ha, betul lah Akmal tidur tak jawab-jawab tu Dia lari ke mana tu Dia on kan je komputer Okay, then, what is your job at site? Uh, apart from supervising, we talk about the supervision later on. Your job at site is to monitor the progress of the project because you have to submit a report regularly uh, on the progress of the project in terms of physical, this physical, and, and this, uh, this physical uh, work or work and financial uh, in relation to the duration of the project, uh, contract time of the project. Hmm. Uh. Okay. So, this means... Uh, on the 31st of January, you have written that, isn't it? Huh? First of January, you make the measurement. Huh? By right, the project uh, has uh, completed 10,000, huh? 8,000, isn't it? Uh, no, 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 no. On the 31st of January, by right, project has, for example, halfway, isn't it? Let's say 4,000, huh? by right, huh? 4,000. So, you check, you measure the BQ progress, huh? It no, actually the work value is five thousand five hundred. So you put the dotted line there. Oh, this means what? Higher than the plan. Uh, so then you check the physical progress. Huh? Similarly, every month, every month you report and report and report and report until this one is in the middle of what here? January, February, March, April, June, July. August, isn't it? Uh, August. Huh? Middle of August. Uh, you check at site just now using the weightage, kan, what has been completed. Then you use the weightage factor. You check the progress, how much. And you measure the value of the project, how much. Uh, you plot this curve. You plot this curve. Means now what? In terms of in terms of the progress of the work, it is ahead or behind time here. Ahead or behind time? In terms of progress of the work? Come on. Ahead or behind time? Work progress, physical progress. Ahead or behind time? Semua tidur ke? So... It's ahead of your time. In the middle of August here. <laughs> what is the question? Huh? Okay, you have to report now. This is the, this is the remember, this is the actual progress. The dotted line is the actual progress. Huh? Here, the dotted line is actual expenditure aside. The dotted line is actual expenditure aside. When you achieve this progress. Okay? So, uh, so the full line is the plan this one is the plan financial progress is the plan physical progress okay now you have taken this data huh? this is the dotted line is the actual physical progress the dotted line here is actual financial expenditure okay this is the this is what you have got from the side so i'm asking you 
Is the project ahead of time or behind time? Ahead of time. Project ahead of time. Hmm. You're still confused, isn't it? Some of you still confused. The dot the dotted line is the actual because you monitor and report every month. Huh? So the full line is the plan. So it's ahead or behind. <laughs> the dotted line is the actual. Huh? The full line is the plan. Huh? So ahead or behind? Hmm. So lambat, man. In the project, lambat. Huh? Lambat. Okay, you have your book with you, isn't it? You chunting as to eh? You chunting as to. Uh, I cannot chunting here. If I chunting, uh, they go to the next page. Eh? You chunting as to. Uh, I don't have that software. I cannot type on the uh, book. Huh? Hey, John, think that's in here. It's behind time. It's behind time. It's behind time. You can click to it. No, click where, where to click. Click at mana? Tak boleh pun. Read loud. Above. Above. Oh, kat sini. Pandai lah you all. Click kat sini. Lepas tu. Boleh pun? Pakai pen saya tak boleh pun? Click again. Here, yeah, add note. Click sekali, dua kali. One time or two times. Kan dah? Okay. okay, dah click dah. Okay. And then? Dah click. Okay. And then? Go to this one. Right here. Oh, oh, this uh, I cannot use my pen, eh? Okay, okay, okay. So, it is behind time. Huh? Behind time by how many days? How, how, uh, no, write, write using what? I, I have to write using the mouse also, isn't it? Zoom the screen. Zoom the screen. Uh, on the zoom. Uh, make it uh, okay. Oh, pandai lah kau orang ni. Uh, okay. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Ni lah, old man. Eh? Tak minat sekali belajar tahu lah. Okay. So, but I have to use mouse. Eh? Kan, kena pakai mouse kan? Tak boleh pakai pen... Saya punya pen kan? On my other tab ni kan? Tak boleh kan? Okay. So. Tak boleh, tak boleh pakai. I don't think I can use my writing pad. Tak boleh. Uh, because it when I use this writing pad, I have to change the screen. Uh, definitely cannot. Huh? I have to use the, the mouse here. Huh? Never mind. Huh? You can follow, isn't it? So, it is behind time. Huh? Behind time by how many days? Remember this from this one says one month huh? by right. Huh? Okay, listen to me carefully. By right, this particular progress should be achieved when. Sini ya, eh? uh, masa kat sini should be achieved here. Uh, you, you tarik the line here, tarik the line here should be achieved kat sini. Should be achieved here. 
Where is it achieve here? Uh, are you with me? Uh, so this is the distance or the time period. How many days it delay? Yes, let's say 12 days. Uh, it's about, this is the number of this 12 days. Okay, uh, you can follow me now, now isn't it? Huh? This number of days. Huh? About uh, the delay is here. Graphically, you can tell people, see, by that, we should achieve this progress at the beginning of the month. Now, we only achieve this progress because this is the plan. Huh? This is the plan, isn't it? But now, we only achieve the progress in the middle of the month. So, we are delayed by, let's say, 12 days. You should think about you. Huh? Are you still following me? Clear, isn't it? Oh. Okay, now. Huh? Listen to me carefully. Huh? At this, at this particular progress, let's say now eh, 70% here, yeah? at this particular progress, how much should have been spent at site? Yes, the delay is actually from intersection. Uh, you know, somebody asked me here, Akmal. The delay is from this intersection uh, and this intersection uh, is from the plan and this one you tarik kat sini. So, this is the delay. I, I repeat again. Eh. By right, you achieve this particular progress at this day, not at this day, you tarik kat sini, by right. Huh? Let's say progress, this one is 70%. By right, 70% should be completed at this day. Uh, sini. Okay, Akmal. Boleh, Akmal. I don't want anybody to be left out. Huh? Okay, Akmal, okay. Okay. So, now. So, at this progress, huh? How much, listen to me, eh, should have been spent at site? At this particular progress. Huh? How much should have been at this particular progress? How much should be spent at site? This, let's say this one is... 70%. Uh, uh. You at this particular date is 70%. We should have you we should have spent this month here over here at this intersection. Uh. This is how much we have should spend. Uh. Is let's say 78,000. Uh. You check this one, 78,000. Uh. Uh. Uh, this one, eh? But how much you have actually spent? You have actually spent this much. Uh. This is your actual expenditure. This is your budget at this particular progress. So, we have spent more or we have spent less as compared to the budget? More, sir. To me, not only the project is behind time, huh? the project is also huh? facing we call it cost overrun. Uh, cost overrun. By how much? By this much. From here to here. This is cost overrun. Eh? Uh, uh, from here to here.
Okay. Any question? See, if you don't listen to my lecture, difficult to understand the book, isn't it? Any question? I don't want anybody to be left out. Huh? Why is it only showing almost sixty percent of the edge full work? Huh? I don't understand the question. Uh, uh, neither. No, this is the actual work here. Over here, hundred percent completed at this time. At the end of October. I ask you to change just now, then. Huh? Okay. Because now we are in the middle of the project. Now we are in the middle of July here. Middle of seven months here. Not hundred percent yet. Huh? So it's seventy-five hundred here. Hundred percent is at the end of October. Now we are monitoring the progress. Okay, Niza, are you with me? You ask a question. We are tracking the progress now. Track means we monitor the project while the project is ongoing. Are you okay, Miza? Okay. Halas, huh? No, this uh, is kind of this plan cause uh, is the actual work site. Uh, we don't include contingency, whatever it is. Uh, it is to monitor the project site. Uh, what the con what we have planned and what is actually happening. So, uh, of course, it's not exceed the budget. We will find out what happened to the project. Uh, maybe there are VO things like that. The uh, so the client wants uh, uh, to add something uh, instead of uh, at the end of the project here, yeah, instead of normal tile, the client wants more expensive tile. That's why it goes up. We have reason. We have reason. Uh, 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 but this purpose is to just monitor from the original budget, which is the actual one. So if we have reason, it's okay. But if we don't have reason, then, then some... There's delay because of what we must have reason. Huh? There's not no reason means we have to take action to the contractor. Huh? You have to submit this this particular report to the client, to the contractor, to everybody. Huh? Uh, it's not simply our fault. Huh? We just want to know the status of the project right now. This is management. Huh? Uh, I find out you didn't come to the class. They are only. Uh, 52 students now. Huh? I will assume that the others cannot come. They are sleeping, for example. But I found out that what happened to the others? The others are having problems. Huh? Uh, eh? So orang tu, maybe they sick. The other one is the father passed away, cannot join the lecture. Huh? Or they are reason. Huh? They will find out. Just like that. This is project manager works. Huh? We monitor. And then we find out how to solve the problem. Now we see that there's not enough money now because the client wants extra money. So we tell the client, see, huh? we don't have enough money. If you allocate 80,000, definitely when you complete the project, if this is the trend, it will go up here, huh? here, here, it'll go up here. So you, how much money is needed to complete the job? We learn that later on. Uh, That's the purpose. Yeah, we are monitoring. We learn that on how to, how to estimate the project completion time. Huh? If this is the case, for example, uh, we tell the client, the client is renting a house now. Hey, your house cannot be completed at the end of August, October. Huh? You, you have to extend it because 100% could be here, could be December. Uh, and then we tell them also, your, your money is not enough. 80,000 is not enough. We might 
go up to 100,000 plus. Uh, this is a professional opinion uh, based on past performance. Uh. Clear, everybody? Yes, sir. Putri, dia apa macam Putri? <laughs> putri kena target. Okay, now we look at the other scenario. Huh? We look at the other scenario. Uh, uh, you see this scenario? It's more clear. Huh? Again, huh? you have your book. You better put here, for this example, let's say this is January, put here, huh? January, this is early February, huh? it's simpler for you, huh? this is March, huh? of course this is October, I'm writing using mouse. Eh? Uh, it's October. Uh. Subhanallah. So this is August. You, sorry, yeah. G, I'm using, I'm using uh, Moss, it's August. Okay? All right, so this one is, let's say, 100K, 100,000. RM, eh? Okay, what are? Huh? Everybody write that in your book. Uh, easy for us to understand it. Huh? Okay, everybody, have you did that already? Have you done that? So now we have to report uh, the status of the project in the middle of July. Middle of July. Uh, so this is we have plotted the graph uh, from January uh, end of January we report here February the progress according to the weightage just now uh, for the progress of the work weightage we have done this before, isn't it? Uh, so this is the progress, uh, and we have plotted the expenditure uh, and the actual expenditure here uh, because until middle of July, okay. So, the progress is about, let's say, 53% here uh, in the middle of uh, July. This is the actual progress. Uh, uh. But this progress is supposed to be achieved, when is it? Uh, early of June here. Early of June here. So, it is delayed by... Huh? This one is delayed by this one. Delayed by this one. How many days is this? Uh, it's about uh, six weeks, one and a half months. So that delayed by six weeks. Of course, if you put in the computer, they will give you the right number, isn't it? You can check. Huh? It's delayed by this one. Project project is behind time. By how many days? This is the amount. So if you explain to the public. Those people who are not engineer, they can easily understand. They said, "How many days is delay?" 
Uh. So this question normally pop up in the site meeting. Eh? When you go to the site later on, how many days delay? Uh. How many days delay? Uh? They ask the question. How many days delay? It's a very common question people ask. So the number of delays is the if it is the contractor problems, then you ask a contractor how do you want to catch up the time now to so that next report of year uh, next month uh, you should be here. Uh? Because if you follow this one, it will be here only. Uh? Next report, you should be here. Uh? So what do you need to do now, the contractor, to speed up the job? If it is not a problem uh, uh, accepted by everybody, it's a, it's a contractor problem. Huh? The delay caused by the contractor. So you push the contractor. Huh? Uh, submit your plan so that you can catch up next. Huh? Uh, in, ne uh, in the next meeting, you must achieve here huh? uh, about 80%. Uh, so the contractor will submit all the plan. Huh? They call it recovery plan. Eh? Recovery plan. How to recover the losses here, the loss of time here. Can you use me? Any question? So now the same thing like before. At this particular progress, uh, at this uh, 50, 52%, uh, I'm still confused. But no happy. Yeah. Okay, I repeat again. This last one, uh, 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 happy. Uh, 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 baru bangun tu sah. Okay, betul eh? Happy baru bangun eh? Minum kopi lah, minum kopi. <laughs> Tak boleh, tak boleh. Tak ke saya boleh tanya. Ya. This plotted line, APZ, uh, this one is the actual progress at site. Uh. Sampai middle of July, we find out this is the progress. Uh. It's about 53%, for example. Uh. But according to the plan, this progress should be achieved earlier. Kat sini. Uh. Early of June. So, maknanya, if sepatutnya, six weeks ago, uh, kat sini, six weeks ago, we have achieved this progress. So, the project is six weeks behind time. Okay. Fizi, boleh? Fazi, boleh faham tak? Uh, kalau tak faham, tanya, Atika ajak dia dinner malam ni. Atika pun tengah tunggu yang you ajak dia tu. <laughs> Okay. Okay, Atika. Boleh, Atika? Malu-malu pula. Nur Atika. Ah, yeah. Okay, ni pakai Safika ni, dia punya ni. Middle, middle negotiator. Uh. Okay, busy. Kau nak ajak dinner kat mana, Atika ni? Huh? Kalau polis tanya cakap lecturer suruh saya bagi surat kebenaran. Saya suruh letter. <coughs> Mana tika tidur ke? Oh, ada boyfriend. Sorry ya, sorry, sorry, sorry. Sebab boyfriend dia? Nanti <laughs> kah sebab boyfriend dia? Okay. At this particular progress, uh, 60 to 63 percent kat sini, uh, barat dekat side, they should have spent only 64,000 here. Uh, 64,000 here, uh, barat. Tapi expenditure dah reach this much, 88,000. Uh, kat sini. Expenditure has reached this one. So this different, this one is the cost overrun. Ah, uh, must let the client know. 
Huh? This is the cost overrun. Okay. Okay. Now we move on to another uh, example. Uh, this time around, uh, the project is behind schedule, tapi there are the cost saving. The same thing here. Same thing here is the report. Uh. This is middle of sorry. Uh. <laughs> July, eh? July. L Y middle of July. Uh, kat sini. Eh? Uh, kat sini this is the progress. So behind time by this period. Uh, this is behind time by this period. Uh, behind time by this one. Behind time by one month. Eh? Uh, Tapi this behind time. So at this particular progress, uh, at 51 percent, the actual cost with the target this, this the actual the, the actual budget cost, the plan cost is tarik kat sini. Uh, this is the budget. Uh, this is the budget. And so at side, kita monitor juga the expenditure. This is the side expenditure. So this the different here, the different here. Uh, from this one and this one, this is the under budget. Means what? Cost saving. Cost saving. This is cost saving. Hmm. Okay. You want? Are you okay, you want? One more example. Huh? It's the the best performance project. Uh. Oh, ho, ho. kalau project under budget, uh, dia bukan profit ya. Ya, talk. This we are not monitoring the contract. We are, remember sekarang ya. Eh? You are working. With consultant, you are reporting the actual cost based on tender price. The contractor has different monitoring. You are monitoring the contractor's progress of work and the amount of money incurred to the client according to the plan, according to the BQ. You, you don't know whether uh, the contractor make money or not. It's beyond you at this stage. You are not a contractor. Uh, but the client uh, kalau ada saving the saving belong to the client why saving for example at just now for example at this particular stage uh, uh, why saving uh, that is, uh, that is, at this particular stage maybe we are doing the piling I give you a good example the piling in the tender let's say uh, masuk can go in to extension but you pile, you draft the pile, one extension or the initial pile set already. So you don't have to pay the contractor according to the contract amount. Huh? Understand? So there is a saving for the project. The saving belongs to the client. So what we have done is only the budget. Uh, at the end of the day, we don't know the project is ahead or behind at the end of the day we don't know whether the cost it costs more or less we are working with the consultant on behalf of the client in this class i'll 
Yeah? I told you from the very beginning, that's our role. You become the SO now. You're not working with the contractor. You want to work with the contractor next term, next semester, eh? you work with the contractor. That is a different lecture. Hmm? With the contractor, huh? not with the client. Uh. Okay, everybody? Clear now? Is it clear? Okay, one more example. Ah, this example. Ah, this example. Same thing kat sini eh. Middle of July. Huh? This is the progress. So you can see it's above the graph, isn't it? Huh? By right, we can only achieve this progress. By right, we can only do progress. Huh? In middle of August. But now we have achieved it. So we are ahead of time by this date. It's about, they say, three and a half weeks uh, earlier. Huh? Uh, and at this, uh, at this project, at this progress, it should be here the budget, but we have spent this month, so this over budget. Uh, okay. This one is good. This one is the best one. Eh? The best one. This one. Eh? It's the best one. Eh? At this particular stage, uh, we have reached this progress. By right, we can only reach progress here, so we are ahead of time by this one. And at this particular progress, we should right, spend this one, but we only spend this one. So it's saving here. So this project is not only ahead of time, but there is cost saving. Okay, I've given all the example. Penat dah? Huh? <laughs> we have complete this one. Uh, this chapter. Uh, we have complete this uh, explanation on this monitoring. Okay. Any question? Any question before we discuss these other things? So far? Okay. We stop the lecture at this point. Can we stop this lecture before we discuss other things? I will give you one assignment on pass. Uh, assignment on pass. Assignment on pass. Uh. This is assignment on pass. Uh. You have these five activities, and then you draw the network diagram. And you draw the critical path, determine the optimistic uh, times, determine the pessimistic time, remember? Uh, you have to check the book, how the step, and then determine the most likely duration, and then determine the expected time. Then find the 90% confidence level. Hmm? So I will upload this one uh, in Putra Blast. Putra Blast. We we'll submit next week. The assignment on track King will be given later on next week. Okay. No problem. You don't have to do your assignment. Tak apa kalau tak buat. It's okay for me. I'm not losing anything. Ah. Kalau you nak copy kawan pun okay, minta tolong mak buatkan pun okay. Ha? Sekarang kan, uh, apa tu, 
home lecture kan Betul uh. tak? Iskandar boleh minta tolong mak buat uh. Aziz uh, minta uh, apa tu Atika hantar kat dia punya ni uh. Simon copy je paste <laughs> Copy and paste No problem eh <laughs> Okay now we talk about test When do you want to have a test? Test one This one you submit before ne next class As usual eh Your submission is one week for the next class Can we have test this uh, Thursday? One hour only It's Supposed to be Six weeks ago. Hmm? I try to upload this one. Eh? Mutra Blas. Management Project Management Simon Eh, Simon This is assignment what? Assignment 4 I think so I didn't read, I am on this picture. Well, the insert, 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 insert. Copy lah, senang. Copy. Okay, so that, uh, done uh, this one. Uh. Okay, you can check. Uh, okay, I have uh, upload the question uh, assignment for uh, and Putra Blas. Eh. No, I'm talking about Thursday this week, eh, not next week. Eh. Boleh. The same as I told you last uh, time, uh, it does not include uh, uh, what they call it uh, CPM. Come on lah, kita dah, we have, uh, supposed to have this one, uh, four weeks ago lah kawan, the test. Yes, oh my god sir. It's at home some more, open book. Boleh, tak sedih. You are supposed to start to have a test six weeks ago. Boleh open book lagi ha, kat, buat kat rumah. So when do you want to have it? Thursday next week. 
Thursday next week. <laughs> Okay, next week, Tuesday. Okay. Okay. Next week, Tuesday. Eh? So, what we do in the test, I will upload. Hmm? Uh, where do you want to upload? The Google Meet pun okay. Hmm? So that I can monitor uh, you if you have any question or whatever it is. Eh? Boleh upload kat Google Meet tapi, tapi tak nampak kan kat Google Meet. Uh, the whole page. Upload dekat Putra Blast and then I will on my Google Meet. You on your Google Meet also. Is it okay? Okay, you get ready with your test paper. Hmm? You write down on the test paper. Huh? We start at 8, we finish at 9. You scan it. Huh? And then o'clock, you scan. I give you 5 minutes, 9.05, you upload. Huh? You upload. Huh? Putra Blast. Yep, look at blast. Huh? Then 905, we close. We don't accept after 905. Okay. After that, I will ask. I don't want to print my house. Eh? Too many uh, pages. Eh? I will uh, uh, ask uh, somebody to, by the office, to print it. I will mark the hard copy later on. Five minutes can ambil gambar pakai telefon je lah, Nadia. <laughs> kita kata tak ada tu, software. Ha? Ha? Oh, Mereka minta setengah jam, eh? mereka nak give you one day. <laughs> Five minutes eh. Okay. You can scan. If you you cannot upload, ha? you have a problem, you scan, you can WhatsApp me. Ha. You are not confident, you can WhatsApp me. Ambil gambar tap 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 selalu ambil selfie bukan main cepat lagi. <laughs> uh, you can you can scan and you can WhatsApp if you have a problem. Okay. You scan not using your scanning machine kan? You use your phone only then. No, you don't have to use printer scanner, Akmal. Aduh, hai. Tak payah, susah-susah. Huh? Soalan pun saya dah pendek kan? Just for record only. Huh? You can use phone scanner. Akmal tak ada ke phone scanner? Minta belajar dekat ni? Uh, dekat siapa? Dasina ke siapa? Minta Aida ke? Tolong. Boleh pergi dating, saya pergi lesen. Boleh? Nak date dengan Aida-Aida, minta download. Ah, deh, boleh kan? Tak apa, PKPP pun saya boleh bagi kebenaran. Lesen besar. So, test masuk sampai lecture sebelum CPM. Test included what is before CPM. All theoretical, no analytic. Uh, okay. CPM not in. Uh, huh? You tak submit, maknanya I have given all uh, benda senang. Uh. You cannot submit through what you call it. Uh, you tak ada line, you can submit to your WhatsApp. So, I don't think you have a problem kalau WhatsApp kan. You don't need line also from WhatsApp. Huh? Uh, you don't need, eh? you just normal line saja. Uh, all theory. So, there is no reason for you not being able to scan, giving reason, no internet line at all. Eh? No reason. Huh? 
Kalau tak, you, you, so you cannot WhatsApp, you hantar message pun boleh. Uh, I still can download the message. <laughs> huh? uh, tu tak? Message can send photo tu. Uh, it's not a problem kan? Uh, so there's no reason for uh, tak sempat. Eh? And the uh, question also have cut short. Uh, taking into consideration uh, this one, I cut short also. No calculation, yeah, no calculation. Somebody speed, I cannot remember. Before calculation, what was that? I don't have the note which means. Maybe somebody speed, good. Uh. We have discussed this before your break. Masa break tu, you punya memory hilang semua. Empat bulan ni ke empat bulan? Cannot be kan? When did your, your break start? Okay, you have to switch on camera, yes. So that I can monitor you at least. Eh? Uh, on record lah, at least I have, I have put in the record. Huh? Hmm. Hmm? You, see, you need to switch on the camera. Eh? Real lah. Uh, if uh, people come later on and ask me, it is all recorded. Uh, it's real. And Kamera pun you boleh buka buku lagi, you boleh tulis note, a lot of things can be done, isn't it? As long as you are seen there doing it, right, on record. Hmm. Nasib baik ada PKP kan? You are lucky, yeah? But final, I don't know final, huh? How, what is the SOP? This is just to get through you so that you can graduate uh, on time, just to help you. Huh? But something need to be done in term of recording proof. Huh? As long as I can read, huh? I, of course I don't want you to copy and paste. Kalau you use a PowerPoint, you use words, you can go to the net and copy and paste. Uh, there's a problem. Uh, uh. So alam ni macam situation. I create the situation. Uh. Tulis elektronik boleh, uh, no problem. But uh, not a word, nah. Uh, word that you can go to my notes uh, and then you copy and paste. Uh. So tak aci lah. Do you have a test for other subject? Have you done the test for other subject? This one. Which subject is that? Stain collection methodology. So how did they do? Methodology foundation. How did you do? Still. Okay. Submission. What did you about submission? Yeah. Some more submit missing time. <laughs> I'm giving the same thing, submit machine time. Short test. Putra Blast, okay. You can submit it. Putra, Putra Blast. The same thing. Submit in Putra Blast. Give you everything. You can submit WhatsApp. I prefer, of course, uh, Putra Blast. Nah. But those who cannot, we have problem. You enter WhatsApp. Same thing, kan? Uh, okay. Not fifteen minutes, eh? Uh, fifteen minutes. Uh, I don't believe in fifteen minutes. Uh, five minutes. Five minutes after nine. Stop. Accepting. thing. 
or I will accept but minus mark. Can we start the test at 8 sharp? Or you want, huh? Tuesday. You know my strike, I'm sharp on time. Why do you want 10 a.m.? Because our time is 9 p.m. lecture. The test is 20% kan, according to the uh, approved university punya yang kita submit 20, 20, final uh, 40, uh, assignment 20. Eight o'clock. Uh, uh, huh? You see, eight o'clock. Uh, if you have problem, uh, then difference. Huh? Try to say eight o'clock. Huh? Eight o'clock. I see no problem now. Eight o'clock is in your house. Huh? You tak pernah mandi pun tak apa. Huh? Uh, not like the university. University eight o'clock pun you have to come at eight o'clock. That is worse kan? You have to wake up. Huh? Uh, Ain fitrah kena pakai makeup di setengah jam. Huh? Uh, Liana nak uh, pakai baju lawa-lawa. Uh. <laughs> kan? Ini you tak, you don't have to take your bus, tak gosok gigi, tak mandi, start terus uh, boleh buat. Uh. One hour only. Kan? So, final answer time to scan is 5 minutes. Yeah, final answer to scan is 5 minutes. take photo huh? so 82905 you are right hmm. apa kemal ni dia orang pakai baju kelawa pun lagi lawa lah kemal Soalan, uh, I try to make it simple. Eh? You jangan buang masa sangat. Eh? Attempt all question. Eh? Definitely, you, it's easier than the normal test. Eh? Remember, as I told you, you don't worry about kalau tak sempat. You don't have enough time. Eh? We have 60 students, okay? Or 50 plus students. Kalau tak sempat, you cannot finish. Other people cannot finish also. Eh? I will average it out. Eh? Means cannot finish, cannot finish, everybody cannot finish. Huh? With the high 60, uh, maybe, maybe you, there is a problem. So I will adjust. I will adjust the marks later on. Uh, adjust the mark. Huh? Is this the first class with me, isn't it? Oh, yeah. We will adjust. Uh, sometimes it's too bad, I will add on each and everybody another 10 marks. Uh, I will do that so that uh, everybody ha don't have any problem. Uh, so you don't have to worry about that. But if you are the only one uh, cannot finish, other student can finish nicely, then you have problems. Uh, I am a US grad, uh, so I am that kind of thing, flexible. Uh, flexible. Uh. Understand? Uh, you can answer point form, you can answer paragraph provided the flow is there. Imagine you are reading it and you understand it. It's up to you. Uh. You can use chart to explain whatever it is. Huh? But the point is that you assume that other people will read your paper. Can he or can he understand what you have written there? Uh. Okay? Okay now, faham? Huh? Oh. Question paper will be given in Putra Blast. Okay. If you want WhatsApp also, I think no problems. Uh, no problems. Eh? I will do it. I will do that also. I will do that also. Yeah. Uh, so you have 
a lot of motion and I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible. Huh? Uh, whatever, I can, I can try to do all.